At three-quarter time on Saturday, Essendon fans were relaxed, with a 10.1171, the 3.523 lead over and out of sorts to long seemingly enough for a much-needed victory. Then, just seconds before the siren sounded to start the last term, Mark Bagley sprinted flat out from the half-forward line towards the Essendon interchange bench. It wasn't a last-minute change of personnel. The Bombers had 19 men on the field. Some Geelong defenders, suddenly aware of the possibility that Essendon might have its score annulled, tried to signal to the field umpire, but fortunately for the Dons Bagley made it to the sanctuary of the boundary line before the umpire bounced the ball. Had 19 men been on the field, and Geelong captain Joel Selwood called for a player count, Essendon's score would have been wiped out, giving the Cats a 23-point lead at the last change, and Bombers supporters another reason to believe the 2018 season is cursed. And think of Bagley, who had endured a week in which his on-field confrontation with Carlton's Jed Lamb in Round 8 had been prime media fodder. Had a mistake that might get an under-12 into trouble with the coach cost under siege John Wears fold a crucial win, the tough bomber's future prospects might have been as bleak as Essendon's empty scoreline. The moment, John Wears fold reacts as Kyle Langford calls to Mark Bagley. Picture, AFL photos AFL rules of the game read, 5.5.3 players exceeding permitted number where a team has more than the permitted number of players on the playing surface, the following shall apply, a, a field umpire shall award a free kick to the captain or acting captain of the opposing team, which shall be taken at the center circle or where play was stopped, whichever is the greater penalty against the offending team, b, a 50-meter penalty shall then be imposed from the position where the free kick was awarded, and c, the team shall lose all points which it has scored in the match up to the time of the count.